Hi, this is Cece Vela Family Farms, and uh, I finally got that last grow bed finished. And it's time to think about what I'm going to put in it and why I'm going to put into it. <laughs> First, I got to show you something. This is kind of a mess. I don't know if you noticed on that video yesterday that uh, in the very end, I, st I started uh, putting out something kind of. And it's windy. Golly, it's been windy lately, and we've been getting a lot of thunderstorms too. This is a bag of peat moss that I got from. Uh, Mom and Dad, when I helped them move a year or so ago, and I got to noticing every time I passed it on in the in the barn that there was a hole in it and there was uh, dirt getting more scattered. Well, uh, mice, little bitty mice, had gotten in here and made a nest. So I'm hoping I got all of them out. I hope I don't know, but and my dogs helped me every time a little rat, a mouse started running, they would go catch it for me, and I was glad for that. So yeah, that's what I was spreading out on on the the grow bed for no other reason I gotta get rid of it and uh, hopefully it'll kind of help break up some of the clay ishness of, of my soil and, and uh, maybe make it easier to plant in and stuff I don't know I finally found some tomato plants it took a while uh, these are some jet stars that Tom likes there's a six pack of those I'm hoping to get those in the, into that grow bed that we just did these are some more uh, cherry tomatoes. The last ones were like sweet 100s or something. And these are large cherry, r large cherry, red large. I don't remember. So I've got three plants of these because the other two that I had planted got eaten. And these are one, two, three, four, twelve Roma. And this is not nearly as much as I wanted to have, but hey, it's better than none. I really thought I was going to have none. Something else. I have got to, got to, got to get the rest of this lettuce uh, take, taken care of, and of course all of it. Oh, I've got to get these into the grow bed. That's the reason it's kind of distressing me that it's taking so long. I'm sorry about the wind, but there's a lot to do, and I've got to get it done. I've still got to get down to that uh, that other grow bed that I was working on in the vineyard and get them oh, finish it out so I can trans plant those uh, strawberries and so I can have its own dedicated bed. So there's a lot to do around here and I'll see what I can get done. On a side note, I had bought these almonds. I put almonds or n d various nuts in my yogurt and uh, I, you know there's several, I found out there's several nuts that I'm allergic to also but apparently almonds is not one of them and um, these I'd actually bought and then we're actually uh, I bought these and I found out that they were raw. So, uh, you know, according to that Weston A. Price book, uh, I'm soaking them in salt water and I'm going to, well, it's just to dry them in a pan for several hours. I think I'll just put them in the dehydrator and uh, have crispy nuts that way so I can put those in my yogurt. So, this is a new experiment I'm going to try. Oh, and then I was trying to take some of the uh, skin off them because it said that skin is off is better. Eh. I either will or won't. Well, we just had dinner, and I was coming out here to get some of the stuff planted into that that grow bed that I had just finally finished yesterday what, earlier today. And I looked, and it's supposed to frost tonight. All of these tomatoes that I want to put in tonight were probably not a good idea. Probably going to bring those into the barn for the night to protect them, but. I think I can still, if I, if I plan on it and carefully, I can take these and get these planted and uh, at least get something in the ground tonight. All right. Well, because we're going to have the, a possible frost day tonight, we decided not to plant those tomatoes. But I had that whole mess of different, a couple of different kinds of lettuce that we decided to get into the ground. Let me show you what we got here. These are the Kennebec potatoes that I planted originally. So we're just where the potatoes didn't come up, we just planted a head of lettuce, and which is actually going to work out pretty good because. The Kennebecs came up pretty good, but obviously you can see where I've got, got a few holes. But on down here, 
My red potatoes had a lot of holes. So we've got a lot of lettuce going in its place. That's, that'll work out, I think. we still got room down here if I want to plant something else down there. This is the lettuce I planted last week. On each side of these are supposed to be okra. And we're thinking we saw one or two coming up somewhere. but So we're not going to mess with this this part of the bed for a while. This whole part of the bed is supposed to be different kinds of squashes. Yellow squash. Oh, this might be one right here, but I'm not sure. That could be a squash trying to come up. So we're, we're going to leave this alone for a little bit longer too. Here, of all those 80 spinach seeds I planted, these are the three that germinated and I got them transplanted out. And then, I can't remember what I had planted out here or transplanted, but whatever it is, that's one little piece that's left and everything else got eaten. So this is where I'm putting my cabbage. These are those Tabasco peppers. I got four of those and then we fill, filled in over here with some, I, the first two I had some lettuce from, well I think all these four were from pre previous lettuces. So even though I've got a bed ready here, we'll save that for mostly tomato plants and hopefully tomorrow. And we got everything filled in between. That makes me feel better too because you know how long, you saw how long it takes me to get one bed done. So if something doesn't come up, we'll put something in its place. That'll work.